Hey folks, welcome to another van cabbing episode. Something a little bit more relaxed this time. I'm here on the edge of a lay-by with a beautiful woodland in front of me and I'm overlooking some fields behind me. Before we get into it, I just want to say a big thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. But today I've brought with me their portable air conditioning unit, which not only provides cool air, but it can also provide heat and hot air as well. Uh, it's just something I think fits in well with the van camping scene and maybe you guys who do van camping or RVing or even with small off-grid cabins might get some benefit from this, this type of thing. But before we get into that, let's get the van prepped and ready for a summer evening camping by the woods. I want to show you all of this real quick. So the guys over at Petromax actually sent me ages ago some new kind of chef knives that they've got, some kitchen knives. And uh, I've just put these bits of cardboard on them for now, but they're really nice. And I thought I'd give them a go because I think, you know, they make really good Dutch ovens and stuff and cooking gear. Look at that. Some nice knives. And I know they make really good steel, they'll use really good steel on them, so I just thought I'd give them a go, I've had them for so long, it made sense to, uh, to use them. Beauties, they look incredible. I'm going to go with this one, because it's got the thinnest profile and I'm going to cut this quite thin. See what I'm cooking in a bit, folks. It's going to involve a bit of coriander as well. Maple barbecue chicken kebabs and mango, coconut and lime fillet, lime chicken mi mini fillets and then some burgers which we're going to use, I'm not going to eat all of this obviously. I'm going to have put some of this um, cut to the smoke, smoky barbecue and chilli hot. 
dry rub on the beef there. Just rub that in. This is my grill that I've got in the van. We're cooking. And that, that comes out. It's like stop you burning all the top here. It's like a heat guard. And it also acts as magnetic there to keep the grill up to temperature. Idea what temperature it's at. I've just put it at full instead of half. Maybe I'll get it in between like that. Definitely worth opening the window. And the other thing is this. Three things actually. I always have this, I need to mount it actually, but that's ready to go just in case. And also a carbon monoxide alarm is important, which I've got in the other cupboard up here. Look at this view though. So because I've got the grill going and it's summertime, it's 20 degrees outside, it's going to get really, really warm in here, which is why I bought this along with me. So I'm gonna put it in cooling mode and it's just gonna recirculate, suck the air from outside, cool it down inside the unit and then blast some nice cool air out of here. Actually, I've got a thermometer. If you guys can see that, but it's currently at 57% humidity and 24.3 Celsius. So we'll run the, the EcoFlow and see how cool we can get it in here. Some of you might be wondering, well, how am I gonna power it when the AC cable isn't plugged into power and my vehicle here, my camper van, isn't plugged into any campsite power either. Well, I've got the optional kind of accessory battery here at the bottom. It's also got a carrying handle, which makes it much easier to lift. And then I just connected it with this cable here, very short cable. And there's also the option for a solar input to charge it via solar as well. So you can keep that battery lasting longer. There we go. Let's turn the fan down. There you go, that's, that's on the lowest fan setting. And you can see on this setting, as it's running and just registering, that's telling me how much time I can run it on this setting for. So we're looking about eight, nine hours, just on low. I've set it to the lowest it can go, 16 degrees Celsius in here, that's the aim. And this is the ambient temp temperature in here at the moment, 24 degrees Celsius in the van. There is also an attachment which you can put here and you put the other hose, one of these, on the front here. And if you've got a tent, you put this on the outside of your tent. You run the hose into your tent and you can get AC going inside your tent as well, which is pretty awesome. Or heating, if you want to heat it up. Meanwhile, ooh -wee, let's cook away. Three minutes later, we're down to 22.9 degrees in here. That's actually impressed me quite a bit. I didn't think it would drop that fast, if I'm honest. That's how much it's blasting out. You can see the tissue. It's hard to it's hard to demonstrate this. <laughs> Good job it's not a used tissue, eh? That's how. Yeah, look at that. That's on full power. How are we looking, boys? Oh, it's looking pretty good to be fair. The burger is dripping. Chicken's pretty cooking pretty well. Oh yes, please. That's looking good. Rather than caramelise the onions, I've just gone with just grilling them a bit. Uh, yeah, I, I've done a, lot, a few van camping videos now. I'll put a link up here somewhere or in the description below if you if you guys like this type of thing. It's not every week, but it is every now and then. Um, you can follow along on some of the van camping stuff that I've done. Uh, I actually did. I've, I've come back from camping last night at the Wilderness Festival with my family so we did some we did some van camping then I've done, I did two days there so uh, I've actually used it quite a bit now it's been it's been good it's nice nice to get out and use it but I've got some really cool plans for future videos in the woods and uh, yeah some exciting stuff I hope you guys are all doing well it's such a beautiful evening um, I've just turned the AC off for the moment so you guys can hear me a bit better
So here's the thing guys, I might do a full run through of my camper van. Let me know what you think. Just a full tour video. I might put it up on my second channel, Life of Mike. There's a few videos up there now if you haven't subscribed already. But yeah, I might do a full tour video of everything, the exterior stuff I've had done, the mods and stuff, and then the interior stuff I've got, and just a full detailed tour for those that are interested. So subscribe to my other channel, Life of Mike. There'll be more stuff on there. But look at this. Oh, whoopsie, burnt the cheese a bit. We're done though. Which I absolutely love, so I'm putting loads on. Yes, please. I've got a second table just here. Folds up and goes on here. There we go. Whew. We got there. About 25 minutes or so later, we did indeed get there. Let's check it's all cooked. That looks cooked. Cut that knife. That's cooked. We're not pink inside. Cheers, folks. Hmm. I've outdone myself. Maple chicken. Mango chicken. Everything I need. Got my gas hob, got my sink, got my fridge, got my grill, got all my lights and things, extra lights at the back. They're all like touch lights. It's wicked, I actually love it. My tummy is full. That was a very nice dinner, certainly by my standards anyway. Um, it's evening time now, it's getting towards later evening, obviously it's summer so it's still quite light outside. But before I set up and get cosy for the night, I just thought I'd run you through the, the unit I'm using, the EcoFlow portable AC unit. Uh, for those that don't know and why I'm using it here in the van is because it's a portable unit, it's, I think it's the most compact portable unit out there at the moment, which is something that I wanted to be able to use in the van because I've only got a small camper van. Uh, but I can also stick that in the cabin as well when I'm working over that area and it will cool that whole cabin area too. And to be honest, EcoFlow is about capturing energy and storing that energy and trying to use it in, in a smart and innovative way. As you guys know, I've been using EcoFlow for a while now. I've installed their power kit on the cabin in the woods with the solar panels on the top. Um, and it was really, really easy to install. And that's something I really like about this unit here is that it's, it's very simple to set up. So I believe this is currently the most powerful and compact portable AC on the market at the moment. And I'm pretty sure it's the fastest cooling and heating. So it can drop 10 degrees in five minutes in cooling mode. And it can also uh, bring up the temperature 10 degrees in five minutes in the heating mode. And that's something that's really unique about this is that it can also heat. And that's again why I wanted it because if I needed to use it in the van in the winter, I'm lucky I've got a diesel heater in here, um, which is great. But obviously the diesel heater doesn't have, it has a fan mode, but it doesn't have AC mode. It doesn't have air conditioning mode. And if I had to put air, air con on in my car, then I'm gonna run out of fuel and it's just, I'm having to leave my engine on all the time, which is not ideal. So the fact that this can heat up, you know, for, for those of you who don't know how to install diesel heaters in your vans and you don't wanna be drilling into your fuel tank and everything like that, this is a much kind of faster, simpler setup. Although obviously it might be a little bit bigger than a diesel heater, which is, I guess, a downside. The plus side is that it's very easy to install, it's portable and you can take it out of the van if you need to on certain times of the year. Another thing that's great is obviously the battery, the portable battery. 
So I can use it on the power kit in the cabin, no problem. But when I'm in the van here, there's no way of powering it. But to have that add-on battery just makes it a lot easier to charge up with the solar panels if you want to, um, or just charge it up by a mains AC. There's actually five different ways that you can charge it. You've obviously got the solar panel input, the AC power input, uh, the, the EcoFlow power stations, or you can use your car. And I guess there's the add-on battery, which I'm using today. So it's nice that there's a lot of different ways you can use it. You'll see this is actually a template that comes with the AC unit when you order it and I'm only using this temporarily but essentially what you would do is I would cut a board out the same shape or size of the window or even that window over there just the same size, shape and size of that window and then in that I would lay this on top of that board cut draw out the frame and then cut out these holes and then stick that against this window here and that way the pipes will go out there and this would all be sealed around the edge so it would make it really efficient and that's what this template is for. So it's really nice, a good addition to just be able to have that template so you can DIY install it how you want to in your van setups or cabin setups. Obviously I've just jerry-rigged it up to the window like this so if I need to get away quickly then I can just pop that in and drive off nice and quick. I'd say one of the best features has to be the app and it's the same with the power kit that I use with EcoFlow. I can control everything on the app from the, the power kit back here at home when, or in the van, wherever I am. And it's the same with this. It's got a really intuitive app and you can just fire it up. You can set a timer and how long you want it to come on for. You can switch mode really easily. So you've got your cooling mode, you've got your heat mode and your fan mode. And you can just get to those by just the tap of a button. There might be a little discount code. And if there is, I'll be putting it up in a banner here at the bottom and I'll put a link in the description to all the stats of the EcoFlow aircon and the other things I've used and also the, any discount codes will be in the video description below so be sure to head down there. Love evenings like this. Kind of late summer evenings, mid to late summer. Perfect. Lots of wild edibles around as well at the moment. Prime example of some good wild edibles here, this little pink flower. Very delicate pink flower, it's really pretty. This is Herb St. Robert, the plant. And it's got a really kind of peppery taste to it, the leaf. You've always got to be aware of that type of leaf, by the way. Anything that's kind of like flat leaf parsley can be very poisonous like your hemlocks hemlock water drop work and things but this is okay it's like a musky pepper flavor I really like it you'll probably find it in your garden somewhere it grows it's very common we got bramble flowers just here the Bramble tree, the, the, you can actually see the blackberries are starting to come through. The flowers are really tasty. Here you've got hedge wound wort, hedge wound wort or hedge wound wort. Um, it's a member of the Lamiaceae family. It's got a square stem to it, if I zoom in. Just here, you see that? It's a square stem, which is characteristic of the mint family. So it's the same family as mint. It has kind of very soft, velvety leaves and purple kind of flowers. These are edible and they were used and as the name suggests, hedge woundwort, the, they were used, they stink by the way, like if you crush them up, it's, it's not a very pleasant flavor at all, but they were used and they were crushed up and they were put into wounds to help staunch any bleeding. So it's a very historical plant, lots of history to it. I don't really like the flavor of it, if I'm honest. I'm not just gonna put loads of wild edibles in my mouth and pretend that I enjoy them. I'll let you guys know which ones I do enjoy and which ones I don't. Hedgewind wort, or hedgewind wort, is not one that I really particularly enjoy. But, look, there it is again. If I was bleeding, I would definitely use it to help my wounds. Here you go, there's some more edibles. Here we have the dock leaf. Normally find by, found next to stingers, stinger nettles. But I can't see any stinger nettles around. But this is the dock leaf. These are the dock seeds. These are quite nice. The edible seeds a little bit too far gone now but again dock leaf if you've ever been stung by a stinging nettle 
crush this up, rub it on the wound, and it helps to stop that really annoying itch that you get from when you've been stung by a stinging nettle, the dock leaf. I don't know why, but I'm getting vibes of Jurassic Park and a big T-Rex running around that corner, <laughs> charging me down. Yes, that is how my brain works sometimes. I often imagine being in an open field and a dinosaur running at me. <laughs> Crazy, I know, but sometimes, you know, you just get those fields where there's like a, a big fallen tree. I always remember that scene in Jurassic Park where there's that big, massive tree, the dead tree that's on the ground and then they're running out in the open field and then the T-Rex the is coming like with the hordes of the other dinosaurs and they try to hide behind the tree. Always remember that scene. I've just seen a buzzard land. You might be able to make him out. I'm trying to put him as bang center of the middle of the screen as possible. That is a buzzard just, just landed. Coming up nine o'clock now, at night, the sun's not quite setting, it's got another 20 minutes or so. Um, I was gonna pop the top on the roof, just to show you, but obviously I'm, I'm here at a lay-by, so I'm trying to be a little bit stealthy. And it's very obvious when you pop the top on a camper van that someone's probably sleeping in it. So um, I'm gonna keep it down for tonight. For now, a lot of you haven't seen it, this is uh, the kind of main bed, the master bedroom. So I'll fold this out and show you um, my sleeping setup. Essentially, it's just got a little lever here. You push down and then pull. And then I just slide those up. Oops. Get to there. And that's it. Pretty much double bed. This is my sleep setup, my sleep system. It's a duvet, which is it's, it's like a duvet with a memory foam mattress all in one. And this is the single, they do a double version as well, but I'll show you. It's really neat, actually. Obviously, it's fairly, fairly bulky, but it's for vehicle camping, so size doesn't really matter. Let's roll it out and I'll show you. The mattress is only on one side. The single mattress is here. So that's the memory foam. And then this is like a big double double duvet that you can wrap right around yourself. Like so. And it's really, really comfy. Anyone who's ever used one will know they're so comfortable. That's the sort of memory foam there. You can see it's, it's nice and thick. Because otherwise you're kind of lying on these cracks. And that's why I put the seatbelt bits here. I slide down those gaps there so they don't you don't roll on them but this just covers you anyway it's lovely and flat and then there, the duvet is a double duvet but it folds on itself like that when you go to roll it up got these little curtains which are ideal There's my charging device area. That's when I'm on electric hookups. And I've got some two USB ports there. This is my power management system. So that's the lights button. That's the backlight there. And the cupboard lights that turns those cupboard lights on and off. And then I've got my water levels. It's on level one, it's quite low. My leisure battery level and my car van battery level and the water tap on and off this is Camper King did this it's uh, the, the whole interior conversion is Camper King they do amazing conversions really impressive but you can change the mode here and put it on eco mode or sleep mode which is really quiet so the power goes really quiet and the noise goes down 90% battery
I'll put it in uh, sleep mode. Listen to how quiet it is. That is so quiet. I'm tired. It's been a long weekend of festival and camping with the kids. So I'm going to try to get some sleep. It's lovely and cool in here. It's quite nice because I can have the little window shut there, which is by the, the road, so it's not as loud. It was good, tummy's full. And I'll see you guys in the morning. This morning's breakfast consists of pancakes, kind of pre-cooked ones that I just threw on the grill, and strawberries and golden syrup. Rather healthy for me. And some coffee. Well, that's it for me and another van camping episode. I think next it's time to get back out in the woods. But a big thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this episode. Remember, any discount codes will be in the description below. So be sure to check the show more section below this video. Uh, but big thank you to them for sponsoring it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the next trip. Thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget my other YouTube channel, Life of Mike, and also my dad's YouTube channel, TA Fishing, for weekly fishing videos. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.